November 29, 2014 from Fort Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi. It was the Mississippi State Bulldogs at the Ole Miss Rebels. And Mississippi would get the ball first. They started off on their own 29. They made it to midfield, but after 10 plays, they would punt the ball to Mississippi State. So Mississippi State took over on their own 9-yard line with about 12 minutes left in the first. They made it out to their own 32, but after 6 plays, they punted the ball back to Ole Miss. Ole Miss now took over on their own 27 with about 8.5 minutes left in the first. And they came across midfield, went on third and three from the 34. Bo Wallace hit Jalen Walton for a 16-yard reception to make it a first down on the 50. Jalen Walton then ran for 14 yards, and it was a first down on the 36 of Mississippi State for Ole Miss. Bo Wallace then hit Vince Sanders for an 11-yard pass, and that made it a first down in the red zone for the Rebs on the 17 of Mississippi State. Bo Wallace then dropped back to pass on first down. He was intercepted by Tevez Calhoun. So now the Bulldogs would take over on their own 20. They would go three and out, and they punted it back to Ole Miss. So now with a little less than five minutes on the clock in the first, Ole Miss had the ball on the 47 of Mississippi State. Bo Wallace dropped back, and he hit Evan Engram for a 46-yard reception to make it a first down on the one. This was first and goal. Bo Wallace took it himself for the one-yard touchdown on the QB sneak. And it was now 7 to nothing. Ole Miss over Mississippi State. So now the Bulldogs took over on their own 25 with about four minutes left in the first. They would bring the ball up towards midfield and on third and two from the 47, Dak Prescott ran for five yards in the first down into Mississippi territory. Then on second and three from the 26, Prescott lost two yards as the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, it was Ole Miss 7, Mississippi State 0. So now to open up the second quarter, it was third and five on the 28, and an incomplete pass would bring out the field goal unit. And Evan Sobeski attempted a 45-yard field goal. It was up, it was good, and the Bulldogs were now on the scoreboard with the score. Ole Miss 7, Mississippi State 3. So now Ole Miss would take over on their own 30, but after five plays, they would punt it from the Mississippi State 37. It ended up being a touchback, so now the Bulldogs would take over on their own 20. They got the ball up towards midfield and edged into Mississippi territory, but after six plays, they would punt from the Mississippi 6. So now Ole Miss would take over on their own 16 with about eight and a half minutes left before halftime, but they would go three and out and punt it back to the Bulldogs. So now Mississippi State took over on their own 38 with about seven minutes left in the second quarter. They would get into Ole Miss territory. They would be faced with a fourth and three from the Mississippi 35. They went for it, but Prescott was stopped for no gain, and they turned the ball over on downs. So now Ole Miss would take over on their own 35, but they would go three and out, and they punted it to Mississippi State. They would also go three and out, and they punted it to Ole Miss, who then went three and out for the second consecutive time and the third three and out in a row between these two teams. So they punted it back to the Bulldogs. So now the Bulldogs had the ball on their own 11 with a little over a minute left before halftime. The half would come to a close with a pass from Prescott to Derunyan Wilson for a nine-yard gain that brought the ball to the 22 of Mississippi State. So after one half of play, the score was Ole Miss 7, Mississippi State 3. So now to start the third quarter, the Bulldogs would get the ball. They had it on their own 23, but on second and 10, Dak Prescott was sacked by Tony Connor for a five-yard loss. That would make it third and 15. Prescott ran for 14 yards, but he was a yard shy of the first down, and so the Bulldogs would punt the ball after going three and out. So now Ole Miss would take over on their own eight-yard line with about 13 minutes left in the third. They would go three and out as well as they punted it back to Mississippi State. So Mississippi State took over with a little less than 13 minutes on the clock in the third with the ball on their own 38. They ended up getting a first down on a holding penalty. Actually brought them back. 
and then they picked up a first down with a pass from Prescott to Fred Ross for a 24-yard reception that made a first down on the 41. Shumpert then ran for 12 yards, and now it was first and 10 on the Ole Miss 29 for the Bulldogs. Then on third and five from the 24, Shumpert ran for 16 yards, and it was now first and goal on the eight. Dak Prescott then ran for three yards, and Shumpert ran for four, and that made it third and goal on the one, and Prescott took it in for the one-yard run and the touchdown that gave the Bulldogs the lead with the score Mississippi State 10, Ole Miss 7. So Ole Miss took over with about nine and a half minutes left in the quarter. They had it on their own 16. And Bo Wallace hit Evan Engram for an 83-yard pass that now made it first and goal on the one for the Rebs. Liggins then lost a yard, and Wilkins gained a yard. So now it was third and goal on the one. And Jeremy Liggins took it in from a yard out to give the Rebs back the lead by four with the score. Ole Miss 14, Mississippi State 10. So now Mississippi State got the ball with about eight minutes on the clock in the third. They headed on their own 25. And on first down, Dak Prescott hit Fred Ross for a 53-yard reception that made it a first down on the Mississippi 22. A four-yard run would make it second and six, and an incomplete pass would bring up third down. They only gained a yard on third down. Now on fourth and five from the 17, they'd bring out the field goal unit. Evan Sebesky would attempt the 34-yarder. It was up, and it was no good. So the score remained Ole Miss 14, Mississippi State 10. So Ole Miss had the ball with a little less than seven minutes left in the third. They had it on their own 20. And on 2nd and 11 from the 19, Bo Wallace hit Evan Engram for a 35-yard reception that made it a first down at midfield on the Mississippi State 46 for Ole Miss. Bo Wallace then went to Quincy Adebayo for a 24-yard reception that made a first down on the 22 for the Rebs. So now Jalen Walton ran for no gain and a couple incomplete passes would bring out Gary Wonderlick to attempt the 39-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And now Mississippi led by a touchdown with the score, 17-10 Ole Miss over Mississippi State. Mississippi State now got the ball with about three and a half minutes left in the third, and they went three and out and punted it to Ole Miss. And Ole Miss now would get the ball on their own nine-yard line to start things out with about two and a half minutes left in the third. And on first down, they handed it off to Jalen Walton, and he ran 91 yards for the touchdown to extend Ole Miss's lead to 14 with the score Ole Miss 24, Mississippi State 10. So now with about two minutes left in the third, Mississippi State would take over on their own 25. And on third and four from the 31, Shumpert picked up four in the first down. Then on second and one from the 44, Prescott picked up two in a first down to make it first down on the 46 of Mississippi State. Then Prescott went to Shumpert for an eight-yard pass. That brought the third quarter to a close with the score Ole Miss 24, Mississippi State 10. So to open up things in the fourth, Mississippi State had the ball on the Ole Miss 46. It was second and two. They got a delay a game penalty, and then Shumpert lost the yard. So now it was third and eight on the 48, and Prescott went to Deronia Wilson, and he picked up 20 yards in the first down on the Ole Miss 32. Then on first down, Prescott went to Deronia Wilson for a 32-yard touchdown pass that brought the game to within seven as it was now Ole Miss 24, Mississippi State 17. Ole Miss would now get the ball with about 14 minutes left in the fourth and they would go three and out. So they punted it to Mississippi State. Mississippi State now had it on their own 24 with about 12 minutes left in the fourth. They picked up a first down with an 11-yard run by Shumpert, but then they would punt it after four plays from the 37. So now Ole Miss got the ball on their own 28 with less than 10 minutes on the clock. And on first down, Jordan Wilkins ran for 41 yards to bring it into Mississippi's territory, Mississippi State territory to make it a first down on the 31. Then we ended up having kind of a trick play as it ended up being a pass from Wilkins to Cody Core for 31 yards and the touchdown. As now it was 31 to 17 Ole Miss over Mississippi State. So now Mississippi State would get the ball with still a little bit over nine minutes left in this game, but they would end up punting it after four plays. 
So Ole Miss will get the ball with about eight and a half on the clock. They start off on their own 19, but after reaching the 38, their drive stalled, and they punted after five plays. So now Mississippi State would get the ball with five and a half on the clock. They had it on their own 35, trailing by two touchdowns. They end up picking up a couple of first downs and moving into Mississippi territory. They had third and one from the 11, and a penalty made it third and six. They ended up faced with the fourth and four from the 14 after a two-yard one by Prescott. Prescott then hit Johnson for a nine-yard pass and was now first and goal on the five. They would pick up a yard on first down, but then a pair of incomplete passes would bring up fourth and goal from the four and a third incomplete pass in a row by Prescott would turn the ball over on downs as now Ole Miss took over on their own four-yard line with less than two minutes on the clock up by two touchdowns. And they would just pound the ball as Jalen Walton ran for three yards. Mississippi State took a timeout. He ran for five yards. Mississippi State took their last timeout. And it was now third and two on the 12. And Walton ran for three yards and the first down. And now all that was left to do was for Ole Miss to line up in the victory formation. As they win this game with the final score, Ole Miss 31, Mississippi State 17. And with this victory, Ole Miss is now 9-3, 5-3 in the SEC. Mississippi State now falls to 10-2, 6-2 in the SEC. As they're now going to drop out of the playoff picture. If they had won this game, they were looking to get into that Final Four playoff. But with this loss, Ole Miss now is beating um, Mississippi State, I believe, 7 out of 8 times in Oxford. So they kind of own them there. Bo Wallace gets the victory on senior day. And he was 13 for 30 in this game with 296 passing yards and one interception. Dak Prescott was 22 for 37 with 282 passing yards and one touchdown. Prescott also had 48 yards rushing off of 24 carries. Bo Wallace actually lost three yards off of four carries. Jalen Walton was the game's leading rusher for Ole Miss. He had 14 carries and 148 yards rushing as well as a touchdown. He also threw a touchdown. He was one for one with 31 yards passing and a touchdown as well. So quite the game by Walton. He also had 20 yards receiving off of two receptions. And the leading receiver in this game was Evan Engram. He had five receptions and 176 receiving yards. Cody Core had three receptions for 50 receiving yards and a touchdown. He also rushed for 20 yards off of one carry. And Jordan Wilkins had two carries for 42 yards in this game. And for Mississippi State, Shumpert, Ashton Shumpert, had 10 carries for 68 yards to be their leading rusher. And the leading receiver was Deronio Wilson. He had eight receptions for 117 yards and a touchdown. Fred Ross also had six receptions for 103 yards. The lone interception this game was actually to Vez Calhoun for Mississippi State. But it wouldn't be enough as Ole Miss wins this one by double digits with the final score. Ole Miss 31, Mississippi State 17.